Well, it's nice. I think I was thinking coming here today, uh, there's a lot of second year coaches, so it was going to feel good not to be the new guy, but I guess I'm still technically the new guy. So you know, we, we had a good off season. We, we knew that we needed to bring in some depth, like a lot of the teams in the league. Uh, that was an issue for us last year. Um, we have we lost 18 seniors, so a big senior class. Not all those guys started, so I'm not saying we're losing 18 starters, but um, a lot of those guys uh, contributed pretty much uh, a big amount on the field. So we have five returning st uh, seniors this year, uh, so a very small senior class. Um, I think I'm a big numbers guy, so our percentage of uh, first and second year players this year is going to be up around 90%. So we're looking at an upper class of maybe 20 guys uh, as far as junior and seniors. So um, it's, we're young, okay? We're not going to use that as an excuse. I think it's a good and a bad thing. It can be bad for experience, but it can be good because where we are with our program, we've got a chance to mold those guys in and do the things uh, the way we want them to be done. As far as guys coming back, returners, we have about seven guys that started for us last year on offense and five on defense, one on uh, in the special team as far as the kickers are concerned. Uh, our receiver, Zach Weirich, he's coming back. He started a few games for us, got banged up during the middle of the year. Uh, but he's really the only guy on the edge that we have returning with a significant amount of, of starting experience. Uh, our slots, which are our, our running back slash slot receivers, uh, we have one guy returning who will be a senior, Nolan Gill. He was banged up again last year, so he only started a handful of games. Uh, and then our offensive line, we returned three guys that have a significant amount of starting time up front. Uh, as far as our quarterback position, Chase is the guy um, for now. I always tell those guys, you, you don't have your spot until you're back again the next year. So, um, but really, he's our only returning guy on the roster that played quarterback. Um, the rest of the guys coming are, are freshmen. So, um, try and create a culture where those guys think they can take the job, and I hope one of them does, so they'll stay sharp. The back position, our fullback, uh, Brent Walton, our only returning fullback as well. Brent had a great year last year, was honorable mention all the way to see, uh, and uh, he's a lacrosse player as well, so he's one of those in-season, all-the-time guys, which I love. Um, and he was competing all year round and actually helped lead our, our lacrosse team in the first year to a pretty good season. So on the defensive side of the ball, up, up front, uh, one returner. Um, really that play, uh, Gene Rucker, we're probably going to move him inside from the end position. Uh, and then the other guy that I should mention is Nick Wright. He's going to be a sophomore. He played in spots last year. Uh, he beat out Vince Austin in the, the spring. It's pretty hard to do, but he did. And uh, so up front, we're going to be young again. We've nobody returning at our three technique position that has any experience. Um, and our linebacker position is probably our strongest position on defense. We have RJ coming back, Brian Lockwitz at Mike, and then our weak side, TJ Langermeyer, who's played a, a decent amount for capital um, for us last year. was a good player. So in the secondary, it's wide open. Okay, we have a guy returning that's a, um, he's a honorable mention all the way C guy corner, but we, we have four spots that we're looking to fill. Um, and that, that competition is going to be exciting for me. As far as our kicking game, Joe Riley, our punter, had a little bit of a down year last year. He really can, he can boom the thing. Um, but hopefully he'll be more consistent this year uh, when we call on him. And uh, he'll hopefully uh, put us in good time. So at Capital, we're trying to get um, to where a lot of the teams in this conference are as far as consistency and uh, just being able to carry that banner outside of our conference when we um, go outside. So I appreciate you all uh, today and for the opportunity to speak up here. And uh, I hope everybody has a great season, except for one game this year.